Stephen here from Recreational Power Sports. We just got in the first of a kind in Canada. It's the 2022 Avalon Wake Tune. So this is a 2585, so it's a 25 footer. Uh, just gonna quickly run you through all the cool features they got going on with the boat. Uh, why it's a one of a kind, why it is the best of the best, why it won the Innovation Award. And we're just gonna start here at the helm, go through some of the stuff on the dash, go through some of the gauges, the depth binder, the stereo. We're gonna work at the back, show you the reverse drive or the forward facing drive, the engine and all that jazz and work our way right to the front and through the side of the boat as well. So at the helm here, uh, we got the upgraded bolster seat. Uh, we got the Steven's favorite Mazo steering wheel with tilt steering, obviously. Uh, the engine is DTS, so it's fly-by-wire. So basically all your controls are here on the helm. Uh, so start button, stop button, trim, all that jazz. A uh, couple uh, manual switches as well. So you do have your manual overrides for your horn, your radio, your arch up and down. So that's your tower that goes up and down your bilge pump just to have here in case something does fail on your dash as for the dash you can see we get the very large screen here so it shows you obviously your fuel your voltage time and everything uh weather and the, the time in a in a analog readout per se um a couple cool features i'm just gonna flip the media real quick so you got uh reverse camera so you can watch everybody doing your surfing and all that jazz uh, you got also basically your audio and video. You could save it all into the dash here as well. Uh, when we get to the vessel, you got your electronic switches for your bilge and your blower in the back. Um, and then you got your RGB lighting in this boat. So basically you can do your interior, exterior and your arch. So the arch is obviously your tower and the interior is your cup holder, your toe kicks, your speakers, everything. Your exterior is the under glow lights under the rub rail and at the back by the engine. You'll see it on some of our other videos as well. Uh, just your fuel and your trim level and your sp speedometer as well here. So we can also set up individual uh, configurations for each each surfer for say. So you'll once you get going, you'll obviously have to try it and figure out exactly where you want to be. But you can say your ballasts, you can say your cruise, so your speed that you like to surf at, uh, so that you could surf on the left side or the right side and increase the tabs on the back so you could increase or decrease the wake uh, depending on your riding style. So you could set it all up in here per uh, per rider, um, as far as I know, there's 10 different profiles that you can set up uh, so that everybody could go out and use it and be set up for each person that's using it. We will be taking this on the lake and trying it and setting it up, so we will be able to have some more videos to show you guys. But that's kind of the gist of the, the dash here. It's very easy to use, very user friendly. Uh, we got the Fusion Stereo here. Um, just turn it on. Takes a little bit of time to crank on. And we got also the depth finder, the Garmin depth finder, fish finder here on the other side. We'll just uh, quickly go through the cockpit in the back and then through the front. Uh, this is the boardwalk flooring. I don't have many boats coming in with the boardwalk flooring, but it is super cool and trendy. I really like it. I really like what they did. Uh, this is the silver interior with the charcoal accents. Very nice. They did some different kind of uh, piping and different, different. Uh, uh, features on the seat itself so it's very nice that way fiberglass consoles everywhere obviously uh glove boxes we got uh two glove boxes on each side of the back here we've got portable cup holders obviously we got the stainless inserts we got the upgraded cladding got the speakers with the rgb in them everywhere uh we've got the power fold arch so it's all done um on the dash obviously upgraded speakers wakeboard racks uh bimini as well right that's built right into the tower or the arch very nice uh this one's got the 6.2 liter merc cruiser forward facing drive in it so it is accessible right here i'll just quickly open it up and show you guys what it's up what we're up against it is fairly tight in here but the nice thing is uh we got all of the features right at the very front and top here so that uh you know your oil change doing your service 
doing your winterize is all a breeze. It's all right here for you. And then it, there's also a couple other nice features, nice little gates that Avalon did here to walk right through to the back. They got the the turf here that, as well. So you just come on through the back of the boat. Uh, we got a nice swim platform for say with a ski bar and also on the arch obviously a tow point for your wakeboarding and all that jazz surfing. Um, in the back we got some rear facing seats which is very nice. You could watch your riders while everybody's surfing, hanging out. We got a little camera right there as well to see everybody in the back. Lots of storage underneath as well here for everybody for all of your... Uh, we got the batteries under here, we got some storage under here. So lots of room for accessories and all your, your boards and your ropes and your, and your tubes. Uh, obviously we have the rear boarding ladder, pop-up cleats, blackout package on here. Remote gas, remote fuel fill as well. So that's a nice little feature there. You can see we've got the ballast pump and stuff under there. So it does have ballast and it will fill uh, ballast as well as the tabs. So we got that. We want to come up to the front of the boat quickly. Uh, so we got the windshield as well. Nice feature with the windshield. You got the insert here so the wind won't blow through. But the feature with that, you know, you got the room of a pontoon boat with, with the feel of a surf boat, right? So it's the best of both worlds. Uh, we got the ski locker slash storage locker, very big. Lots of room in here, light as well, so that, uh, you know, we can put all of our stuff in. With the sub, along the front of the driver's helm, we got a wireless charger for your phones, cup holders everywhere, obviously. And you can see the very clean, clean aspect of the, of all the seating and cladding and everything they got going on here. Back of the boat here, you can see the innovation here. This is the design that makes it the wake tune. Uh, basically, you can see how the tune comes back up at the very back. So it's all hand rolled. That's how they built it so that the wake does form from this aspect. They got a larger center tune at the back to make the wave as well. It is three tunes, three separate tunes. So it's not a mono tune or anything, but it's three separate tunes. Um, as you can see all the way back, how it comes up there, it's not like round all the way to the back. Uh, here's the Lenko tabs. So there's one on each side, obviously. This is also gonna help make the wave as good as it's gonna be. So there's one on each side. And obviously you can see the forward-facing Bravo 4S drive, right? So the nice feature with the, with the drive is it can trim. You have forward thrust, reverse thrust, and steering. And also, it's very safe because the prop's underneath. So if anybody falls off the back, we don't really have a, the chance of somebody getting hit with the props, right? So very nice feature that Merck's come out with. Avalon got the opportunity to utilize it in their boat. In front of the boat here, you can see, it does look like a conventional pontoon boat. Uh, I still got the splash guards, a couple little keels to for the splash as well. The sides look conventional. Everything about it looks conventional except for the very back as we showed you before. Um, coming around the front, you can see it comes with a custom Phoenix trailer, weight tune cut in the sides, custom wheels, uh, big tires, nice chrome fenders, uh, big jack, swing weight tongue, uh, brakes on it obviously. Come around the front, we got the F2 winch, two speed obviously, nice and fast. You can see down the sides, you can see right through to the side of each tune, you can see it's a full, triple tune. So it is an actual tune. Along the side of the boat, we get the black oak packages, obviously. The upgraded uh, nav lights. On the side, you can see the trailer. The weight tune cut in. It does light up at nighttime. Stainless fenders, upgraded rims and tires, stomp pads. And right along the back of the boat, you can see the side of it, how beautiful it is with the nice upgraded tower.